Well, there is a new movie hitting multiplexes this weekend, and it's hardly the usual popcorn fare. It's called Trust, and it tackles an issue of huge concern for parents and children online sexual predators we're talking about. Who are you talking to? I'm chatting, Dad. My friend Charlie from California. He's a junior and plays volleyball for his high school. Oh, a junior. Mm. Well, he's obviously a very smart kid. Hello, <laughs> well, laugh out loud, right? Nice one, Dad. <laughs> Plums. <laughs> Parent watching over my shoulder. No, wait. Dad, can you go talk to mom about mortgage payments or something? All right. I'm right back. There you go. Good night. Love you. Mm, don't do it. All right. Our next guest is teaming up with director David Schrimmer in creating a dialogue around online predators and what families can do to, to protect their children. Here now, Hey Moon Nigam, a former uh, federal prosecutor for the Justice Department against online crimes and also the founder of the online safety consulting firm SSP Blue. I got to tell you, I don't have children, but this is extremely uh, disturbing. First of all, tell me this. How is it um, that a, an, an online predator get to meet a, a real uh, a kid in real life? Well, first, thanks for having me, Arthel. Um, I spent a lot of pretty many hours with David Schwimmer talking about this movie. And I think if there's one thing that we need to do is, as much as we want to have a predator panic around this issue, what the movie is actually designed to do is raise dialogue, just like we're talking about right now. Mm -hmm. And in terms of how a predator does this, it's actually very much the exact same way as he operates in the real world. And that is, he targets an individual, a teenager, who may be what we call at risk. There's difficult situations going on in the life of that child. They're looking for help. They're looking for reinforcement. And he's always right there giving those compliments, understanding her or him. And it can be a he or a she. And doing things like that, that eventually, eventually his ultimate goal is to say, meet me somewhere just like a real world friend would do and say, hey, we're friends now, let's go to the mall. And then from there, other things happen. So similar approach. I mean, you look at this, this video clip here from the movie and this girl looks so uh, innocent and, and so lovely. And then you wonder, she obviously has great parents. The father was there just moments ago. And you wonder how does she go from being in this, what seems to be a nice, safe environment there at her home to being a, you know, preyed on by this child molester who she met from an online encounter. Right, Arthur, that's actually a great question and that's exactly what this movie highlights. If you look at, if you watch the movie, what you're gonna learn is Annie, the character Annie that we're talking about is actually what I would call an at-risk teenager. Her father is actually working very hard and not giving as much attention as he normally used to. Her brother, whom she dearly loves, is about to go to college and that's hard for her. She's trying to get on the volleyball team. She's not fitting in with the cool girls in the school and she thinks that's really important. So from a predator's point of view, he sees an individual who is at risk and needing attention and what he's going to do is target that person. And in fact, that's what happens in the real world. A coach will do it with a, with a student that he's with. A, a camp counselor will do it. They'll look for kids. For some reason, they have an excellent radar for at-risk children, and that's what's happening. So in that sense, online, offline, exactly the same as a parent. And I have four kids myself. Mm. We need to focus on educating ourselves and saying understand what the so grooming they can't, process parents is. parents can't just say, oh, I don't understand that online stuff. You, you guys and your computers, you can't just do that. You've got to know what's going on. Hmm. Right. No more excuses. I mean, I don't know how many times I hear parents say, I can't understand technology. The bottom line is this. Your kids at home are your best technology educators in America. Learn from them, and while you're doing it, give them a safety lesson. Much like my father, when he gave me my skateboard, he said, now remember, when you're going down that hill, watch out because there's cars coming, put a helmet on, things like that. When that gift wrap is coming off that iPhone or, or an iPad or whatever device you're giving your child, have that safety lesson during that interaction. It's the best time to do it. Yeah. And then ask them to teach you in return. It's a great way to have a dialogue. And, and just to drive the point home, there was sexual contact yeah. in, with the characters in the movie. That does happen. Right. And it does happen. It is what I call in this case, because Annie actually 
has been what, what we call groomed, which means she's been manipulated into believing that the character in this case called Charlie is actually her true boyfriend. That he is who he says he is, that he's truly in love with her, and she truly feels like that. And so in many ways, when the assault takes place, it's what we would call a consensual assault. At the end of the day, as adults, we all know what it truly is, which is a rape. Well, Hemu, uh, thank you so much for being a part of this project. It's very important. Parents really need to know about this, and kids need to know about it as well. And want to let everybody know that you can catch more about Trust. That's the name of the movie. A little later tonight, when Mike Huckabee talks with director David Schremer, uh, Huckabee airs at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on the Fox News Channel. What an important movie with an yes. important message yes. for parents and kids.